You don't intimidate me. You I'm might intimidate all the guys in there. You're not going to intimidate me. me. I was walking. I'm state property right now. It's After public I property. You, Who owns the state property? Say, you need to leave our property. All right? Who, how is it your property? Do you own it? Do you have the title, the deed to it? I'm the security it? director responsible for security of this institution. So in that respect, yes, I am responsible but for you're, it. But you don't own it. The taxpayers own it. You are what you are. Okay. And go ahead and put this on YouTube or whatever you have to do. Yeah, whatever you need to do. Quiet. No, you did not. But this is public property, sir. No, it's not. This is state property. All right. right now, the police are being called because you're trespassing. Hey, what's up, guys? Long Island Audit here. Back again with another video. Today, we're at the Oshkosh Correctional Institution here in the state of Wisconsin. We're here today, as always, to peacefully exercise our First Amendment right to film in public and publicly accessible areas, to promote transparency and accountability within our government, and to ensure that our public servants respect our rights and treat us with respect. Let's get into it. All right, guys, so as we walk on the property here, the first thing that I want to note is that there aren't any no trespassing signs to be seen, at least where I was walking in over here. So let's take a look around on the publicly accessible parts of the facility here. Hey, do you need help with something? I'm sorry? Do you need help with something? Uh, who are you? I work here. I'm you your correction officer? Yeah. And your name? Well, why did you need to know? You can't be on the property taking pictures and stuff. Why can't I be on the property taking pictures? It's state property. If you want to take pictures, you can go across the street. State property means it's public property. Oh, you can't take pictures up here. For sure I can. I can take pictures. You know? It's a First Amendment protected activity. Of course I can. Well, why would you want to take pictures? Oh, I'm. Um, see, that's a better question. Can I get your name before I start talking well, uh, to you? Officer Coates. Officer Coates, okay. Officer Coates, I'm just, I'm an independent journalist. I'm taking pictures and video. I'm working on a story here. That's why I would be, what I would want to take pictures in public. Well, how long are you going to be here for? Oh, I have no idea. No idea. You take care now. Okay, sir, am I able to help you with anything? Um, who are you? Uh, I am S S Sergeant Up Lehman. Sergeant Lehman? Yes, sir. Hey, how are we doing, Sergeant I'm, Lehman? I'm good, how are you? I'm doing well. Um, no, I don't need any help with anything at the moment. Okay, Thank you. Okay. I appreciate that, Sergeant. Okay. Thank you. Are here for what? Oh, I already explained it to Officer... Uh, already forgot his name. Um, officer, who was out here just a minute ago? <laughs> yeah, okay. exactly, exactly. This is private property you need to leave. This is not private property. Put your camera down, please. So this is... Are you, are you a law enforcement officer? You are not allowed to take pictures or videotape this. I'm not you can allowed go to go on the street and do the same thing. But this is public property, sir. No, it's not. This is state property. Can I who know who you are? Right now, the police are being called because you're trespassing. Trespassing, you have to have criminal intent. I don't have any criminal Please intent. Leave. I'm not engaging in criminal activities. That's what trespassing comes okay. with in Wisconsin. Right now, you are. You do. Video you have recording. no authority. You have no authority you outside of the, outside of that camera. outside where you just left. That's where your authority okay. ended. Okay. Put the camera. You're not law enforcement. You're not law enforcement, so I have to leave the property because I'm recording peacefully? Yes. You can go out on the road and record. Are you a law enforcement officer? Who are you? I'm What's your name? I'm a supervisor here. What's your name? Okay, I don't have to tell you that. What's your name? My name is Ian Tony. I'm the security director. I need you to go off of the state property. What's okay. your name, sir? I already said it. Now you need to go out on I just want property. to get your name before I leave. I did already. It's recorded, right? Yeah, sure. So sure. now I need you to step off of state property. Are you law enforcement? We have notified law enforcement. Near okay, so... Way. Tell, t do, does he work for you? You need to calm down. You can't put your hands on anybody. Don't try and put your hands on me. I'm not one of your inmates no, in here. Nobody is, but you need I'm to a free leave. citizen. Don't touch now. me, okay? Please leave this property. Trespassing in Wisconsin comes with you a criminal intent. You cannot be on this property. Yes, I can. This no, is open no. to the public. This is visitor parking lot. Well, if you want, I'm you visiting. Can go on the street. This is a visitor parking and you lot, can wait sir. For the police department to arrive, and you can take it up with them. All right. So this is a visitor parking lot. You I will take, take it up, up with, with the, the police, police when they get here. But I will. Not do it from here. You need to step off of well, you're not going to touch me, and neither any of you. You guys aren't law enforcement officers. Okay, great. I would like to take it up with the police, the law enforcement officers here who enforce the law. I'm not. I'm not causing a disturbance. I'm not doing anything you are wrong. On state property, and you can't. Be this is doing public this property. This, no, this is, is open to the public. Property. This is publicly accessible. Well, that's a very, very common misconception. If we had a public sidewalk that was running right here, that would be one thing. We do not. Everything. 
So those signs that say private property or state property are state property and are state prison property. Who owns the state property? Say, you need to leave our property. All right? Who, how is it your property? Do you own it? Do you have the title, the deed to it? I am the security it? director responsible for security of this institution. So in that respect, yes, I am responsible but for it. But you don't own it. The taxpayers own it. We the, the, we the people. Well, so we all own it. Exactly. But you just admitted it. It doesn't mean you can necessarily come on it. I also own several. I have business military, conducts here. Military bases I have business to conduct high, here. No, Can I get your name, sir? Lieutenant Norton. Lieutenant Norton. How you doing, Lieutenant? Yeah, I'm just, I'm a journalist. I'm gathering content for a story. I'm in publicly accessible areas. for what? I'm an independent journalist, so I'm working on a story. I'm not going in any too restricted areas. Okay, that's this fine. is open to the public, sir. This is not, there's time, place, and manner restrictions on these kinds of things. This is the broad daylight. You're a journalist for what? I'm an independent journalist, sir. I work for myself. Anybody could say they're an independent journalist. Yeah, because anybody could be an independent journalist, sir. There's not there's not a restriction on the United States Constitution. We have freedom of press. I'm not doing anything nefarious. I'm not in a restricted area. The public can come up here all we day don't know long. What you're doing here. But all I know is Sir, you could saying. have asked well, me what I was doing here. You said already you are an independent journalist working on some type of a story. I don't know why you're doing some type of a story over by a motorcycle parking area. What kind of That's where I was walk that's that's the entrance so I was walking in. I was walking Where's in here. Vehicle? What does that matter? I'm just curious. Where is your vehicle? Sir, it doesn't matter. I was walking this way it to come over matter. here to take a, to take some pictures of the signs here. No, I'm asking you a question. Where is your it, that vehicle? That doesn't matter, sir. It does to me. Where is your vehicle? Sir, I want You know I was coming over is here to take pictures. On state property right do you now? see these do you see these signs is over your here, sir? Vehicle, sir, sir is I'm not answering any questions. Car? You're not? No, I'm not. Where are we? Okay. We'll wait for the police to come. This is a publicly accessible area. I'm just taking pictures right well, here. They have they have signs speaking. here. Stop they have seen. You don't tell me wait when to stop speaking. To come and you can explain it to them. You, you don't tell me when to stop you speaking. You don't intimidate me. You I'm might intimidate all the guys in there. You're, you're not the going to intimidate me. me. I was walking. I'm state property right now. This is After public I property. Politely, this is public can, property. Why are you, you are acting mistaken. like this? This is a state Sir, when prison. Sir, when you came up to me, what, did I treat you with any kind of disrespect? No, right? I you told you, him? I told you, he didn't ask me to leave. I asked you, to leave. I asked you, I said if you no. did ask you to leave. He said, he said there's no... He said there's no... who also talked to you about it, and you are still standing here claiming because this you is my, I'm, I'm a journalist. journalist. And if you were a journalist, you would do the same thing every other journalist does, is they go out and they film from the street, which is allowed. That is what happens with every single journalist that so a wants jur to get so B-roll or unless, whatever of this is. Yeah, exactly. So because they know... Because they are legitimate journalists, and they know they cannot <laughs> I'm not be on legitimate, state right? I don't know who you are. <laughs> okay. You've got a backwards hat. You don't look like a okay. journalist to me, but okay. you are what you are. Okay. And go ahead and put this on YouTube or whatever you have to do. Yeah, whatever you need to do. Quiet. No, you did not. Yes, I no, did. No, you didn't. You, as soon as you, you came to up leave. to me, you just said, hey, you need to leave, to leave state property because I own it. Because you do. <laughs> ridiculous. Oh, I never said that. You're ridiculous. Don't cut it to say. You're ridiculous. Because I'm sorry, what? You're ridiculous. You're acting ridiculous. This is ridiculous. I can't come and take pictures of the signs. I, we already told That's you insane. You can't come on property. That's either. insane. Well, I'll be waiting for law enforcement then. Because you guys are, you guys got bad attitudes. Especially you. Especially you. You have a bad attitude. Well, that's because I have the responsibility of 2,000 people plus a lot of staff members in here. I'm it's not a threat to any of those people. You. you don't even know the law Sorry, because you're yeah. not a law enforcement officer. You don't know the law. Wisconsin trespassing, you have to have criminal intent. What is my criminal intent doing here taking pictures? We'll we have freedom we'll of press. Law enforcement. We have, exactly. That's what, that, that's the great, the good move. Good move. Good move. Allow the proper law enforcement to handle it. I'm done with you guys. You don't give me what? Permission to oh, you don't give me permission to publicize it because you're acting like a total, complete jerk? Oh, okay. I'll publish it anyway. How about that? Because I don't need your permission because you're in public. I don't need your permission. That's on you. You want to act like a jerk in front of the world? That's on you, buddy. Hey there. Hi, officer. How are you? Good, good. How about yourself? Good. I'm right, just. Just said that you yeah, were. I just wanted to speak with you guys. I don't want to. I, I like to de-escalate the situation. Okay. I don't want to escalate it any further than what it was. Awesome. Those uh, correctional officers, they were like ready to attack me, trying to go hands on, and you know, trying to grab my camera okay. and start an escalating situation. I was nowhere in any sort of restricted area or anything. This okay. is where visitors are allowed to be. Sure. You know, I'm. I told them I'm an independent journalist. My name is Sean, by the way. Okay. Can, can I get Brian. your name and badge number? Yeah, Brian three seventy five Brian Diener. 
Diener. I'll give you a card if you need it. Thank you. I'll take a card. Yeah. Thank you so much, sir. Yeah, and I'm so with the city, just so you know. You're with the city, yep, of, city Oshkosh. of Oshkosh. Yep. Okay, thank you, sir. Um, yeah, so, you know, but to escalate the situation, I wanted to remove, to de-escalate the situation, I wanted to remove myself from, you know, their presence okay. because they were getting, uh, I don't know if it's how they're, they're used to treating people on the inside, but, you know, I tried to explain to them, hey, my name's Sean, I'm an independent journalist, I'm just working on a story, taking some pictures of the facility here, not in any sort of restricted area, like near a fence or anything, just right there in the, uh, where they're standing right there. Okay, I was so just you're get, in the parking yeah, lot. in the parking lot, yeah. And then did you go inside? No, never even went inside. You never went inside. No, never oh, went okay. inside. Okay. No, never went inside. My, my, I don't need for my pictures. I don't need pictures of the inside. I just, I wanted some pictures of the outside. So they're like, you know, you're gonna be arrested. So I said, and they started freaking out and everything. So I said, you know what? Let me, let me walk over here. They said the police are on the way. And when I saw you guys come, I wanted to speak with you. That's why I called dispatch or yeah. whatever. But and I apologize for that. I saw you waving. Yeah. And I didn't know if you were just waving a kind of like... <laughs> just to say hello. Well, and some, pe <laughs> some people who are all your First Amendment guys yeah. and, and people, you know, I didn't know what you were doing. So sometimes they're trying to get a reaction out of us. Oh, no, so I wasn't... I seen you kind of going like this. No, I'm it like, wasn't. No, I'm it, like, well... Yeah, no, no, no. Yeah. That's that's not that's not what I do. You yeah. know, that's why I came over here. That's why sure. I'm, you know, I'm, tr I'm talking to you the way I am. Yeah. I'm just trying to... I want this whole thing to be de-escalated and for me to go about my business, yeah. honestly, you know? Yeah, and the, the reason we were here, the reason we got called is we were told that there was a male that was not leaving. In the lobby, right? That's what that's what I, that's what what I dispatch said. I thought it said lobby, but it, there could have been some miscommunication just okay. with how it came. Yeah. And the reason he's talking to him and I was just sitting over here is because we were even seeing if there was a legal reason we even needed to make contact with you. Okay. Or I was going to maybe make a consensual contact with you and say, yeah. hey, like, what's going on? And Yeah. Um, that's why. No, I that's why I just, I, just wanted, I just wanted to talk to you. But if it's all right, if I'm not breaking any laws, I like to just go about my business. Yeah. Let me. Do you mind if we just talk to them first quick and just see what their opinion I, I want to I mean I would like to, for transparency purposes sure. not to not to escalate a situation yeah. since you guys are here I would like to see what their reasoning is so myself like I'm not going to talk to them but I would like to document it like I'm a journalist so this is We're, this is I, of interest I'm going to find me. out for cuz the other officers yeah. there so I'll have him come over and he'll talk with you yeah. and, I mean I just want to make I just want to make sure that my rights aren't being violated and we're just I I don't want to like I said that's why I came over here and that's why I wanted to talk to you cuz yeah. I want to deescalate those guys over there they were acting real irrational, so you know, ready to grab my camera. You know, yeah. don't step up close to me while I'm just walking around them, trying to get because they all surrounded me, about five of them, and I'm like, hey, listen, I don't want any problems. Let's de-escalate. You know, yeah. it's no. it, this isn't worth it. Like I'm just taking some pictures in public. That's a you know constitutionally protected activity. I'm not in a. I'm not in any sort of restricted area. I didn't pass any no trespassing sign. I agree. I mean, if I'm able to tape you, you should. Yeah, be able to exactly. Tape me, right? You are you know? right now, exactly. Yeah, I mean, I I have no issues I, with that. Exactly. Sometimes people like try to hide it, and I'm like, hey. If you no, want just to tape oh, me, no. I never, I go never ahead hide and tape it. Me. But just, no, like yeah. there's times I'll, you can see someone like in a car, and they're yeah. like, I'm like, if you want to tape me? I don't take offense. Yeah. If I can tape, that's you, great. Tape me. You know, that some people do take offense, like like these correction officers. They yeah. take they take offense to things, and you know, we're we're always being recorded, not just by you know police officers, but you know, everywhere we go, whether in Walmart, Target, wherever you're going, you're being recorded one way or another. Yeah. You know, you got Your traffic phone, cam. There, yeah. Know, there's ways, ways to find out where people are off their phones and stuff. Exactly. So. I mean, yeah. we're in public here. I, I, I'm not in, I don't want to push any buttons. I didn't go up to like a fence and try and, that's not, but they yeah. just, they just exploded, man. They would, they exploded. Yeah. So let me ask you this, since we're here, we're having a consensual contact, yeah. good conversation. Can I get your information? Well, my first you, name's Sean. Okay, I'm going to leave it at that. you to give me anything else? No, okay. no, I'm going to leave it at that. No, that's fine. I'm going to leave it at that. Can't blame me for asking, right? Yeah, no, you know, no, that's your job. Yeah, hey, it's sir, my job sir, it's, it's your hey. job to ask, Yeah. and, you know, but it's my job to politely decline. Yeah. And that's <laughs> that's yeah, my you're, job. You're not the first person who's declined, and I I, I won't be the last, <laughs> probably. But let me... Yeah, because, you know, I probably would have been already done by now, officer, to be honest with you. So, I just want to... You want to get... I just want to get my little pictures and... Yeah, my, or whatever yeah, kind of yeah, just, just, you're doing. Yeah, or, exactly. And just and be on my way. Journalist. Yeah, I'm independent. Yeah. I work for myself. But, yeah, that's that's basically what I'm trying to do here. And that's it. And then I'll be on so my you're, way. You're your own boss, Because... Huh? Exactly. It's great. I, I love I, it. I, I can definitely see perks to that. Let me tell it you. Is, it is. It is. There's a lot of perks <laughs> to being your own boss. Okay. <laughs> Was, he was going to see if they know of anything that could criminally or stop yeah. you from doing it. Okay. I don't well, how about let's walk over that. there together. Let's yeah, walk we, over there together. We can take a walk. I let's got no take a walk. With that. 
Because I don't want to feel like I'm being prevented from doing anything, you know? I don't want you to either. <laughs> and I guess this is a great country we live in. Maybe. I don't want to feel like I can't walk where I want to walk, you know? And I do want you to know too, Sean. Like, yeah. you know, you're not detained. You're okay. not being held against your will. Perfect. Um, That's why I wanted to go for a walk, just yeah. to test that theory, <laughs> just yeah. to see. Okay, no. <laughs> I mean, you you called us to come talk to you. Yeah, so, exactly. No, no, exactly. No, I wanted to speak with you. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, so for I sure. wanted to make sure we're on the same page. Because you guys were going to be here anyway, and I wanted to make sure. I wanted to, you know, yeah. there's always two sides to every story. Yeah. and I want to make sure I, then you there's don't the truth. think I'm holding you, like, against your will or Oh, no, we're having a great walk. Yeah. So, no, I don't mind. Yeah. I don't mind. And at some point, if you say, hey, you know what, you don't have to walk right next to me. Yeah. I, I'm, I'm not Well, I would appreciate that. I would so, appreciate that. I just, appreciate that. Just so we're, I guess, on But, the, you know, the same way I'm for my right in being public, I'm for your right to be in public. Yeah. You, you have the right to walk right next to me, you know? So that I, is if, true. If, if, but if it did about... But, but, but that's that's very nice of you, but though. But I, I also don't want you to feel like I'm, you know, harassing you or something. Okay, no, but not at all. That sir. is a that is a fair statement. <laughs> yeah. I'm for your rights to walk where you want to walk. But I don't have a problem either way. Sure. So that was the original correctional officer that made contact with us. We all went back inside now. It's good. It's a good thing. Hopefully the police leave and, and go about my business. Hopefully these officers educate the correctional officers inside and we can move on about our day. How you doing, officer? How are you? Good, you? Good. Is Sean? Yeah, Sean. How you doing? So, um, I was talking with those uh, DOC employees, so um, right now, we're under no belief that you're doing any kind of criminal act. Correct. Um, and I informed them of that. They're going to be talked, you know, calling their legal departments to, you know, find if there is something that says that you cannot be in, you know, in the parking lot here. Yeah. Um, so yeah, I was I was very familiar with Wisconsin trespassing. They usually, usually has to come with some type of criminal intent mm -hmm. to do something, you know. And I, I don't have that intent at all. I've, you yeah, know, I'm I've, not, not saying you do. Yeah. So we were just going to verify because, like, I'm sure Officer Diener told you, like, we're unaware of any specific state statute that you know says that you can't be in a visitor parking lot recording. Yeah. So okay. Um, if there is some sort of state statute that they're going to come back to us and say, hey, look at this state statute, say, you know, this can't happen, and then you know, we can discuss that issue. Sure. And then that would be like the warning kind of thing. Like, hey, there is a state statute. Here's a state statute if you want to look it up yourself. Okay. And then that's fair. And then that would be like your warning. But then if you would come back again, that's fair. That would show that intent that you're talking about, right? Yeah, that's fair. Exactly. Don't worry about that when and if, right? Yeah, when and if. I'm not really too worried right now. <laughs> so, can I just get your name and badge number? Officer you? Stephens, 409. 409. Thank you, Officer yep. Stephen. Cool, man. Officer Diener, thank you. Yeah, no problem. Take care. Appreciate Have you guys. Thank, thank you. you. So, that, ladies and gentlemen, is not a walk of shame. This is a walk of honor. Honoring their oath to the United States Constitution. It's a beautiful thing to see. Sean, I wish you had your car. You could at least give me a ride up there. <laughs> go, go with the Officer Stefan. <laughs> go with that look when you're recording me that I'm too lazy to walk up there. <laughs> Take care, guys. So they all left the public lobby here. They can call their legal department all they want. Call your legal department all you want. Wow. Correctional officers here at the Oshkosh Correction Institute. Something wrong with you guys here. You guys don't know how to de-escalate a situation at all. Horrible. Well, the Oshkosh Police Department definitely did a great job. So we're just going to hang out for a little bit longer, guys. 
just to make sure that the Oshkosh Correctional Officers over here know that we are well within our rights. We are not breaking any laws. All right guys, so we're just getting out of the Oshkosh Correctional Institution here in the state of Wisconsin. Wow, so that started off pretty crazy and intense, I'm not gonna lie. I could, I don't know if you could see it on video, but I can definitely see it and feel it. Those correctional officers were tyrants and they really were hoping to go hands-on immediately because that's what they're used to. That's what they're used to. They're used to going hands-on immediately with people who do not respect their perceived authority over them on, that are on the inside of this gate back here. That's what they do. And that's a shame because even if you're behind the gate, you know, you should be treated like a human being. But I saw their lips quivering. They were so angry that I was, you know, defying their unconstitutional orders. They're not even law enforcement. And when I told them that, they got even more irate. You know, it's insane. You see how the law enforcement officers that were here, Officer Stefan and Diener, you know, how they treated me, how I treated them. That's how that could have went down between me and the correctional officers and the security director. But unfortunately, it didn't. Unfortunately, it didn't. Trying to grab my camera, put their hand in front of my camera to block it, you know, surrounding me. Like a bunch of thugs, like they were acting, you know. We're not scared of them. We're not going to back down from them. And that's why we're, we're, we're where we're standing right now. That's exactly why I'm standing right here, right now. This is where they don't want me to be. And I'm here. This was a big win for the Constitution, a big win for we the people and our freedoms. This was great. Hopefully the correctional officers inside, when they see their behavior and the world sees their behavior, they see what tyrants they were acting like, and hopefully they change. Hopefully. I'm not going to hold my breath. Anyways, guys, let me know what you think about this in the comment section below. As always, stay safe. God bless. I'll see you in the next video. Long Island audit. Peace.